morning, Quadcopter101 here, and today's shout out goes to EXE Gaming 777. EXE Gaming was first to say first in one of my recent videos, and that's what's a shout out, so congratulations! Good morning, Quadcopter101 here, and I have a neat new airplane for you today, folks. This is the KF Plan Z55 three channel drone. Now, about um, six years ago, I did a review of its predecessor, the Z51 drone, which was about this size except it did not have ele or elevator control. This one is elevator control, so they've upped it. You know, uh, they've improved the design on this. Now, looking closely at this, they call this a Predator, but you can tell from the V-tail here, this is actually a, uh, a model of the MQ-9 Reaper drone. Okay, it's slightly different than the Predator because of that V-tail, the upper, up, upward moving V-tail. Now, this weighs only 90 grams, folks, okay? That means this does not require any registration, nor does it require remote IDs in most countries. There's no camera on this, so most folks out there should be able to fly this without problems in your country. So hopefully, uh, you know, throughout the world, this could be flown. Um, again, I mentioned it's a three-channel plane now. It comes ready to fly with its own transmitter, as you can see here. But I mentioned three-channel plane. What does that mean? That means you have control over the throttle, of these motors you have uh, control over turning right and left and the way that does that is through differential thrust folks um, if you want to turn to the say to the left the right motor will increase power and the left motor will decrease power and that just pushes it to the left and the same if you want to go to the right you know the right motor will increase over the left motor and push it to the right and for the third channel that you got you have uh, elevator control now what does the elevator control do for this um, the main thing that this is going to do is you're going to be able to trim this in flight for a very smooth flight. You should be able to trim this. Okay, previously, um, you know, even though this is gyro-stabilized, I forgot to mention this is gyro-stabilized, and that prevents the aircraft from tilting over. Um, it will adjust the motor controls to keep the aircraft level, and additionally prevent the aircraft from flipping over uh, forward and aft like that with adjustments of the elevator to uh, control that. But again... With the elevator control, you have trim control of those elevators, and that enables you to smooth out the flight. So if you're doing gyrations like this, they call these fugoid oscillations, where you've seen these in other airplanes, you can smooth those out by lowering the trim on the elevators to smooth that out. Uh, also, if it heads to the ground all the time, you can raise those elevators, the trim on those elevators, to prevent it from smacking into the ground. So that's the main advantage you're going to see with having that trim control. Additionally, you can also do some stunts with this. And we're, I don't know, you know, there ain't going to be spectacular stunts, but you can make it go up and down, which you could not do with the original Z-51. It was just uh, smooth flying only. <laughs> it will enable you to do. Um, okay, I mentioned the stabilized system. Um, now, how does it stabilize itself? Okay, mainly, you know, this two-channel plane or three-channel plane you know, right or left, um, it'll adjust the movement to prevent uh, uh, yawing right or left automatically with the gyros, although it does have trim control for that. But uh, additionally, if it would tilt to the left like so, or tilt to the right like so, it will automatically level itself by increasing the thrust on this motor here to uh, provide more lift on this wing. So that would... Uh, you know, bring it up and level, you know, it has wing leveling is what I'm trying to say here, folks. Right and left wing leveling uh, through the uh, stabilization system of this aircraft. Now, I haven't mentioned the motors yet. You know, I measured these motors. These are 0820 motors, I'm guessing. Uh, by the way, I measured these with calipers. I'm guessing they're 0820s. You should be able to find replacements for these if you need to, but I doubt that you'll be needing them very soon because with most uh, RC aircraft, these motors, even though they're brushed, last relatively long as compared to gyrocopters, which are not gyrocopters, uh, quadcopters, which tend to use you know, a lot more power than uh, aircraft. Aircraft don't require to, uh, as much power on the motors as uh, quadcopters do. So that's why you see a lot of burnouts of, uh, of brush motors on quadcopters and not as much on airplanes. It's, you know, it, it happens, but not as much is what I'm trying to say there. Now this is powered by a 3.7 volt, 600 milliamp hour battery. You get either two or three of these, depending on which bundle you get. It only costs a few more dollars to get that third battery. So if you're really interested in this airplane, you might consider 
going for that, springing for that third battery. But this battery is supposed to give us up to 20 minutes of flight time. Um, I find that kind of hard to believe. Uh, you could probably do that if you're gliding, okay, or, or slope soaring. This aircraft probably can't slope soar. These are uh, pretty nice wings on this large wing surface area for this little lightweight aircraft, 90 gram aircraft. So there is a possibility of doing some slope soaring. So I can see you getting 20 minutes that way. But uh, normal power flight, I don't know. It's, I'm going to guess about 10 to 12 minutes. We'll find out when we get out in the field. So let's go over the controller with this particular. Well, I didn't show you the belly of this aircraft yet. Now here's the belly. And the this aircraft actually has an on-off switch, folks, that you can turn the aircraft on like so. Um, and you know, plug in the battery before you actually go out and turn on the transmitter like so. And then bind the aircraft to the transmitter, the aircraft to the transmitter by up or down on the throttle. Now I have, I uh, should have uh, throttle control on this. So yeah, but but let's see how. Hear that? That's those gyros kick again. They're trying to level the aircraft. <laughs> and additionally, you see the gyros kicking in to level the aircraft uh, in pitch by moving the aircraft up or down. They're automatically moving, as you can see there. So yes, this indeed has uh, automatic stabilization system built into this particular aircraft. So let's go over what you get in the package. First, let me turn this off here. You get the airplane, of course. Um, it is do it. You have to repair or build it, not repair it. <laughs> um, you have to install the wings. Uh, it's not too difficult. Just follow the instructions, and uh, you should get through it relatively easily. Uh, it took me about 20 minutes to build this particular aircraft. So. Let's go over what you get in the package, though. You get the airplane, of course. You get the instruction manual. It's relatively uh, basic instruction manual, but it's relatively basic aircraft. Not very much uh, goes into the controls, <laughs> into controlling this particular aircraft. I'm going to go over the controls here shortly in a second. You get uh, two or three batteries. I got the two-battery version. And you get a bag full of accessories, including the obligatory uh, screwdriver. You're going to need that to build this aircraft. Uh, and a charger, battery charger, a uh, set of screws, and a spare set of propellers along with a propeller puller if you need to change those propellers. I don't see you needing to change it since they're pusher props, and I, I, there's gonna be, it's going to be hard to damage those particular propellers. Now, if they were out in front, yeah, but in the back like that, it's going to be kind of difficult. So, And, of course, you get the controller. Let's go over the controller. Um, the button on here is for the optional lights. There is an optional light version. I don't think Banggood has it, but if you see it out there, there might be another version of this that comes with lights that you can install for night flying. I would not recommend it. That's just going to add weight and um, actually suck juice from the motor or from the batteries if you want to use that. So that, that's going to make for less flight time if you do install such a thing. But other things on this, this does have rates. You can adjust. Uh, let's see. What's it? So it has beginner and expert rate, two rates. So that will increase the bank angle and the pitch angle and the speed of the aircraft. If you want to uh, do a little bit more maneuvering, you can put in a higher rate by pressing that button here and hearing the two beeps. It does have the on-off switch there. And this is your trim uh, button. If you want to uh, level off the aircraft, it's doing fuel load oscillations, bump it to the right like so. And until the uh, fuel load oscillations smooth out. And if it starts heading to the ground a lot, uh, bump it to the left to raise the elevator to um, prevent it from going downward. And also you can adjust the yaw trim with these buttons here, but I don't see that being a problem since this is gyro stabilized. So that's what you get in the package for the Z55. It's a relatively basic airplane, uh, but it actually could be cool to fly, and it should look cool while we're flying it. It should look pretty good in the air. So let's take it out in the field, folks, see how it flies. So hope you enjoy this flight. Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here, and welcome to the test flight of the MQ-9 Reaper, not Predator, okay? <laughs> this is a good-looking bird, isn't it, folks? It, it even has a, its little uh, nose cone up here for the camera, but, uh, you know, it's fake. But uh, I guess some folks out there can modify that to include an FPV camera in the future. 
Okay, well, let's get this in here. This is already uh, or turned on, or the battery's already plugged in, but we can turn it on by turning the on-off switch there. And let's put it on the ground and try a ground takeoff for once. I rarely do these, but I think this one can do it. So turning on the transmitter, up and down to bind it. And I think we're ready to go. So let's give it some throttle and see it fly. Oh, that took off so nicely. I'm increasing the rate, high rate. I was going to trim it, but it doesn't need it. Whoops. Let's see if it's crash worthy. <laughs> ah, I wasn't planning on that, folks. <laughs> but we'll find out if it's crash worthy. It bumped into the fence there. I'm going back to low rate too, by the way. You know those high rate turns, it really banks hard. And I lost some altitude on that, but it still looks good. Let's do it again. Take off from the ground. Putting it on the ground. Back to beginner rate. Yeah. Let me check, uh, make sure everything's fine though. <laughs> that was a hard hit into that. Yeah, everything looks fine. Okay, I'm going back into the air again. On the ground, throttling up, pulling back on the stick. There we go. Well, that really looks cool up there, folks. And I'm going to come over here because I want to try to bring it low. It climbs pretty quickly. Not surprisingly. Throttling up. I don't want to hit that again. Coming down low. Maybe we'll go over into the field, folks. <laughs> we'll fly it over this field here so I don't hit anything. I'm gliding it. Oh, man, that looks nice. Don't it? Let's give it some throttle and pull up in the stick and see what happens. Nothing, it just climbs. <laughs> okay. That's what I expect for the beginner's plane here. It's not going to let you do tricks, in other words, folks. Okay. Lower, lower. Gliding it by. Lower, even lower. Coming around again. Looks so cool. <laughs> Going right now. Needle aeroplane. Oh. Now you can bank it, yank and bank it. I just discovered. Here it's left and diagonal. Pull back, back on the stick. And it makes a real hard banking turn in beginner's rate. Going to expert rate now. Expert rate, you need a little more throttle, but it banks a lot harder. It banks a lot harder and turns a lot harder too. As you can see there, let's bring it down and show you that. Don't go through the sun. <laughs> Come down. Look at that. To the right now. I was getting dizzy. <laughs> Throttling down. Went around on the right. Nice airplane. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, this is an excellent plane, I guess, for beginners. Excellent plane for beginners.
flies really nice. Now, there's hardly any wind today, folks. So let's, let's put a caveat on that today. One for once, I find it got a nice day to fly with hardly any wind. <laughs> so, but on a day like today, yeah, it's perfect for beginners. Flies great. The other way now. Throttle down, throttle down, come down here. Nice airplane. Now, if we had some wind today, I could probably do some slope soaring with this thing because that has a lot of lift on that wing. <laughs> that wing provides a lot of lift. Nice plane. You know, this one's uh, XK came out with that A160, I think it was, a few years back. It was also a Predator, a uh, three channel Predator with elevator control like this, except that one had a uh, drag tail or a propeller on the tail, you know, for looks. That was windmill, a windmilling propeller. That is not a good idea, folks. That just creates a lot of drag. This one here got rid of that decorative propeller. And it flies great because of it. <laughs> nice turning on this thing. Extreme turning. I didn't even do any uh, trimming on this. It doesn't need it. At least mine didn't. Okay, now the wind's picking up a bit. That's okay. Fun. I'm enjoying it. I guess we can go back down there again. They're cutting grass up here. <laughs> I don't want to get in their way, but I'm out of the way, I think, over here. like it what do you folks think it's a nice plane i think it's reasonably priced too it's not small <laughs> like the the warbirds this one's pretty good sized going up higher just to see go up higher yeah better oh, he's he's out of the way <laughs> okay coming down Gliding from way up there. You gotta give it a little throttle though so you can steer. Just a little throttle. But I'm barely got any throttle on it at all and it's climbing up there, folks. Climbing way up there. Okay, come back down. I went a little too high. Oh, it's turning. I got the throttle turned off. Or throttle's off completely. This is just pure gliding. But it's turning when I want it to turn. How is that? Because I don't hear the motors running. There must be a motor running up oh, through the sun, of course. No throttle. Come down here. <laughs> See what I mean? This makes a fantastic glider. Okay, throttle it up. Fantastic glider. So, yeah, you can throttle it up, go up again, and do some more gliding. Let's do that again. Go up high, and then just come back down again on a glide. Oh, it's way up there. Okay, gliding back down. So this has about 150 meters range, they say, so that's good. Because we're going to need it with this plane. <laughs> that glides so nicely, don't it? Okay, throttle back up again. It glides real nice. Glides very nicely. I'm going to try to do a landing. Let's go back over the field. Come back over my way. The wind's in my face, so. And 
into the field. Oh, aw. <laughs> Let's try it again. We'll do a touch and go. Get in the air, come around, and take off again. You're starting to get some wind finally in my face. So, yeah, I'm liking what I see so far. I'm liking this a lot. Nice plane. Absolutely great for beginners. Throttling up. Pulling back on the stick. <laughs> and there we go, in the air. Let's go around now and land it. <laughs> Almost. Here, let's take it off this way. <laughs> almost, almost hit that pole. It's a great plane. Absolutely fantastic plane for beginners. I like it. Good job, Bear. What is it, KFRC? KFRC makes some nice beginners planes. They really do. I like their planes. Reasonably priced too. They're mostly differential thrust planes, but they're still fun. <laughs> I get a kick out of these differential planes. I'm enjoying it. Come around, come around. They're perfect for beginners, these differential planes. They teach you exactly what you need to know, throttle management and orientation for beginners. So, I like it. The Predator, Reaper. Yeah, the, the Predator, the original Predators, the, the V-tail goes downward. It's, it's like an A. <laughs> and the Reapers, the V-tail up, going, or pointing upward, it is a V. So. Just a little bit of difference. Who made those? General Atomics. Yeah, General Atomics made those. Down there in Adelanto, California, very near where I used to fly. <laughs> Remember when I was out in the desert, folks? I would see these all the time. <laughs> so. Fun plane. You're flying in a really small area too, as you can see here. Really small area. So, you know, if you want to fly these indoors too, I guess, sure. <laughs> I'm just doing figure eights here. I could be doing this in my backyard or front yard, I guess. But I would also recommend go out in a big field if you're a beginner. Give yourself some slop there to make mistakes. Turning around. But yeah, it's nice. Nice plane. Nice flying plane. Very reactive to my controlling. I'm in high rate, by the way. Now, in high rate, you got to give it a little throttle coming around those turns because when you bank like that, you're losing some lift. Yeah, but again, the next step would be like a mid position you see on the word birds where you can try to do some loops with this maybe. Would this have the power to do loops? I don't know, <laughs> maybe. Wind is coming up from my back air. That's why it was zipped by so fast. So we're seeing how this flies in wind now. It's not doing too bad. 
not doing too bad at all in the wind. Not doing too bad at all. And it's flying a good long time. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so that's our battery. We're in time to land. Come to me. Let's see if I can catch it. Maybe not. <laughs> land it. <laughs> so that's its flight time. I'm not going to drain the battery down until it dies because I don't know if it's a real... LVC warning here we got here or if this will actually let me take it down below three volts So I'm going to take that warning as it's time to land So that is the Z55 Very fun plane Perfect for beginners <laughs> And it looks so cool too at the same time oh, I like it. It's a nice plane folks. Hope you enjoyed this flight. This is Quadcopter 101 Signing out Hi, Quadcopter 101 here again. Hey, if you want to get your own shout out in one of my future videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel. It's real simple. Just go to my channel page and click on that subscribe. And also make sure to click that bell button right next to the subscribe button. That way you get notified when I release a brand new video immediately and give you a chance to get that first shout out. So give it a try, folks.